Well, News Channel 5 is always investigating after Huntington Bank customers woke up this morning to find money missing from their accounts. Yeah, no, Huntington says it has fixed the issue, but some customers we spoke with, not so sure. And Derek Waller live outside their downtown Cleveland offices. Derek, all of it goes back to a computer glitch. Well, Frank and Lee, I'm learning from a cybersecurity expert that the bank may have tried to process a big batch of transactions all at once from over the weekend and then accidentally charged them twice. He calls this a breach in confidence and some customers, it left some of their customers hurting. About $110 less than it should have been. Joe Collinette woke up to find five transactions from Friday had been charged to his Huntington bank account twice. It's definitely an inconvenience. And luckily, I didn't have any big bills coming out today. On social media, other Huntington customers said their accounts were overdrafted and they couldn't get gas. The Columbus-based bank did not respond to my request for an on-camera interview. Instead, they sent a statement reading in part, we are proactively reaching out to our customers to let them know we are aware of and addressing the issue. Via FaceTime, a spokesperson with the Ohio Banking League downplayed the glitch. How do we know it's just a glitch? But cybersecurity analyst Ken Stesiak with Cleveland-based Secure State says Huntington needs to tell customers more. This really speaks to can we rely on Huntington to process and use their information in the future? Are they going to be able to fix this glitch? Was it systemic? And really what caused it? And those are questions that Huntington has not specifically addressed this afternoon, but they did apologize to their customers in a statement, also saying that uh, everyone who was affected by this, that those duplicate transactions should have been corrected by about 1 o'clock this afternoon. And they say that any uh, fees that resulted from this, like overdraft fees, for example, should be corrected by sometime overnight tonight. Live in downtown Cleveland, I'm Derek Waller, News Channel 5.